I believe sexually suggestive songs or mm. sexual songs mm. has been in the system for a very long time. Mm. Not only in Ghana, worldwide. Mm. And as David Oscar rightly said, people think it sells, sex sells. Mm. However, remember when we were even in nursery, how did they teach us stuff? Mm. They taught us by singing. Mm -hmm. Singing actually makes you remember things quicker. Mm -hmm. And David Oscar's argument was, you guys, someone like Shatawali, someone like mm. Kobna Komna, someone mm -hmm. like the group like Prior, mm -hmm. you hold a higher power. Mm. So you singing sexual songs like that or sexual suggestive songs like that are leading the youth astray. Mm. Even those sex cells, sometimes we should put our culture mm -hmm. at the forefront. Mm. We don't have to copy everything. But culturally, mm. a man marries... 10, 15 women if but, he chooses to? Yes, he can, marry 10, yes, he mm. can marry 10, 15 women. But sex, describing girls, like what Samini said, or Mawari Oba, Oba Fefefe, something sweet. That's not sexually suggestive. It's mm -hmm. empowering women and decorating women in a, a good life. Someone like Nefertiti in mm. Egypt. She was a powerful queen. Mm -hmm. She was put forward as a beautiful woman, but mm. a woman who had enough power. Mm. But in these type of songs, they are... Putting women, they are degrading them. Say, mm. Charlie, it's wrong yeah. in mm. all sorts of ways. We should remember the youth listen to music. But you see, at the end of the day, mm. the, the argument about sex sales, mm. is it really not the case? Are we, are we saying is that not the case in Ghana? Because sometimes, as an artist, it's not just about doing music, it's a business. Mm. Okay? Yeah. So you try to weigh the 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 the, the things that society seems to like. Mm. And when they put out these songs, it's they hits. are hits. Mm. So yeah. how do you prevent or, or how do you try to gag him from making such songs when that's how he feeds himself and his family? I'm, I'm not sure you can gag any musician from expressing mm. themselves through mm. music. Um, music has different purposes for different audiences. Mm -hmm. we, music for the mind, music for the heart, music for the feet. Mm. So if I decide to do music uh, mainly for people to dance to, it is my choice. That's what I want to do. There are people who want to listen to music about love. Mm -hmm. Okay. There are times you need to listen to music for worship when you are mm -hmm. worshiping. So um, you can't say every type of music should educate or teach the youth something. Some of the songs are for sex. Mm -hmm. They are for uh, uh, mature people. If, if you listen to Kabina Kabina's Tokro, mm -hmm. um, it's been rated Actually, it's been rated, so it's not for kids. Oh, it's been rated. There's exactly. A, there's a fair mm -hmm. warning. Yes. Even so, so you know, before you listen to the song, you know this is not a song that should be consumed by kids. It's mm -hmm. for adults.